Hi there. There are so many websites where you can download costly or free models for 3D animation, textures, rigs, etc. One of them is Cube Brush, 3D models, and then you have the weekly freebies. And in the weekly freebies, you find this interesting car, really, and this astronaut. And the artist is Domenico D. Whoever that is, he did a very nice job, really. It's a high-resolution geometry. Here you find product details, an old unfinished model originally published in 2017, made for a project that unfortunately did not go on. So instead of erase all the files, I've decided to sketch a simple image and release it for free, hoping someone can find it useful in some way. We absolutely can. You download it, you can uh, type in a, an amount of money, zero or 50 or whatever. Uh, I think it's always a little bit complicated to evaluate the price before you actually download it. But then you download it and then you find it probably under downloads in your on your computer. And I'm only going to use the object file now because uh, this is a bump map and I this is a mental ray a description of uh, the texture and I just don't want to use it. Here's a readme which basically states the same things as uh, we've just read. So the object file is the one we'll uh, move into the Maya Scenes folder. So it's here, it's called Astronaut High Poly, an object file. We just open it and Maya understands what it is. It lands in the scene usually very large, very big, but in this case very small. Here he is. When we press F, we get closer to this astronaut. And one thing to keep in mind is the resolution of the of the object. It's really amazing. And we don't actually need so many polygons, but still, for a game, this is just impossible to use. But uh, for maybe texturing, this would be quite cool. And uh, you see all the wrinkles here in the cloth and uh, it's really very nicely done, sculpted in ZBrush. Let's just check uh, heads up display and poly count. Looks like millions of polygons. Anyway, uh, we want to rig him and animate him. And uh, this is a, such a nice process since I think my 2017. And uh, we just do a quick rig and then we transfer a motion capture animation, an FBX file, to this character here. It will look really cool. Okay, with this character selected, we go to rigging. And then we go to skeleton. And then we go to quick rig. The whole section here changes and we have this menu here and we just click on auto rig. And it takes a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. And because Maya has to think about where to place the well, ankle, the knee, etc. bone, because he's not in a T-stance, he's, he's just in a relaxed state, but symmetrical, that's a good starting point anyway. So what you see here, creating guides is real time, I'm not accelerating this. This whole process takes about, well, just about a minute. And then binding skin is the final stage here. It basically means that uh, Maya has found the ways to place the skeleton and is now attaching the skin to that skeleton, which is a complex process, which really was uh, quite tedious when you do it by hand. Once this is finished here, we'll see the locators for the joints appear here. So currently it's all grayed out, but it will be filled with information once this is finished. Actually, it takes longer than a minute, but it's going to be all right. This, this is due to the very high density of this polygon object, a million, whatever. Now you have the locators here. So for example, this is a hip, and we could, if we wanted, move him down and uh, we don't want this uh, to happen because we're going to drive him with a with a motion capture file. And the uh, interesting thing here is the character is the quick rig character. This is our character here. We, it's called quick rig character because we didn't name it differently. We don't have uh, any other character here. None is the alternative. 
and the source currently is the control rig which we put in here it's basically this section here where we can keyframe animate him but that's not what we're going to do what we're going to do now instead is we go to windows general editors content browser and in the content browser we find fpx files let me just close everything the examples are here animation and paint effects everything is here under animation you find motion capture not the rigs the rigs are here you see the these are characters which uh, are often used in my tutorials really they have a built-in rig uh, so you don't have to do that auto rigging process but here is the motion capture and FBX is the way to go and what we'll do is since he's an astronaut it just should look around now when you look at the whole dimensions here this is the typical size of a uh, of a of a character here in Maya so he's really really tiny but amazingly that does not matter so now you can go to control rig as the source and change it to quick look one and now you see this thing happening here this is because the joints are so big because the skeleton is so big so let's just hide them we go to show the joints so we see our character and what does he do now let's go to the very beginning and you see he moves he looks around and he stands there etc for rendering I'll choose a slightly different animation it's also a prefab FBX file in the content browser and I really thank Domenico for offering this really cool highly complex astronaut to us to try have a nice day